One of the reasons why I think I liked Batik more than anything else that appealed to me is because of his, his color quality and because of the subtleties of his color and because of the fact that you have to go with the flow. It's like jazz. You have to, it's, you can't, it's improvisation and it's contemplation. Contemplation because before you do the next step, the first step has to dry. So you've got time in there to think about where you're gonna go. And the whole process is start and stop and start and stop. And this, putting this color on, and then that color stays there. And when the color is wet, it looks different from when the color is dry. And then you have to know that if you dip yellow and blue, you're gonna get green. And if you have, you got to make sure that you get the right green because you got to have the right kind of yellow. Uh, if you have a soft yellow, you get another kind of, so it's all kind of varying things. And since dyes seep into the fabric, it creates, you're looking into the fabric. You know, you're looking into the fabric it's not like paint that lays on top of the fabric. And so it became my voice because I think every artist has a voice and your voice is how you use the medium. And so with me, it's the softness of that. I like, I like the fact that Batik doesn't speak loudly. Mm -hmm.